Good afternoon, my dear students. So I'm here at uh, my account in Tinkercad.com, and I will be giving you a short tour and tutorial on how to use Tinkercad, especially in your mini projects. So Tinkercad.com is a virtual simulation where you can create your own circuits. There's also an option to create uh, 3D models, just like here. But what you can see in here is my gallery. So these are the circuits that I have created for my class. You can see that here on the designs tab. I you would like to make sure that you you are selected you are selecting circuits on this one so that when you click create it will lead you to your King area. So this area here is your working area. This is where you would drag, uh, drag and uh, your components, which you can see here on the components panel on the right. Up here, you can see the toolbar. So this have a lot of um, uses. Um, like for example, if you want to change the orientations or flip or rotate your components. This is also where you will select the colors of your wires and the type of wire that you would like to use. If you want to put on some comments or notes, you can click on this one. Once you are done, you can, you, you are done with your circuit. You can click on the code here and this is where you will put the, the program. If it's if the code doesn't have any problem, you can start click the start simulation to check if the program is working as it should be. So let me say um, I am going to build a circuit composed of um, an LED and a buzzer. So I would like the LED and the buzzer to turn on and off every second. So I already got here a small breadboard. Let me zoom out a little bit. And then I would also be needing an Arduino Uno microcontroller. So this is just my preferences or my preference, but I usually like to put them side by side with the Uno on the right side. The first thing that I usually do is to to connect um, my breadboard to the power source. So first, I will select GND and make a connection here on this negative power rail, this blue one below. So GND is always black. And then get another wire and make another line, this time to the positive power rail, the red the red uh, one here and then I will also make it red okay so that's also a demonstration of how you can create bend points with your wires so what you would do is just click on where you click on the um, work area where you want it to bend Let's say I am going to put an LED. You can change the color if you want. When you place your LED on the work uh, work area, you will notice that one of the legs is bent. So that is the anode. The other one is the cathode. The anode is the positive one, and the cathode is the negative one, which you will connect to the GND. Okay, so let's say I put it here on the breadboard the negative one I should put the resistor for that and then connect it to the negative wire there so since all of this all of these points here holes here are connected to this black wire and to the GND so this LED is now also connected to that to the GND. 
Um, the long one, I have to connect to the digital pin. Number 13, if I remember correctly, based on the code. So to do that, I will create a connection from here to pin 13. So I would like to make a bend point here, and I will just double click it so that it would look cleaner like that. Okay, and I would also be putting um, a buzzer, but here it's called a piezo. It's, yes, it looks a little bit large, but just let it be. I'd like to flip the positives and the negatives just so I'm consistent with the negative being on the right side, uh, on the left side. Mm, I'd like this to be under color, let's say green. For the buzzer, I would be putting it on pin number 12. Double click here to create the bend point, make some adjustments and change the color as well. Okay, so that's pretty simple, right? Click here on the code. It will ask you if you want to work with blocks or text or a combination of the two, blocks and text. So since what you know is working with text, click on it and then just click on continue here. You have to delete this and um, get a hold of your code. So I will be copying it from here and then paste it. Click on start simulation to check if it's working. So you can see that it is starting, simu starting your simulation and this is the runtime. You can see the buzzer sounding and the LED turning on and off. Okay, so once you are done, you can stop the simulation. You can put, this is where you will change the file name of your circuit. Change it, change it into something uh, recognizable. So, if I click back here, just to show you how it looks like in the gallery, um, you will get this. And this one is really important because you can actually share your work, let's say, with your teacher or with your group mates. First, you have to click here, change visibility, and then change the privacy setting. Click on share link so that whoever have the link to this project can access it and even edit it if they wanted to and copy the 